Did you like the way I started this little chit chat with an affirmation? Well, I'm going to do that throughout the chit chat just to add a little bit of spice to it all. And of course, it's winter time, and I'm thinking about warm things. I'm thinking warm thoughts like playing golf again. Well, I can tell you this. If I play golf now, if I get a triple bogey, I consider myself lucky. At one time, I did have a four handicap, but that was such a long, long time ago. And I've told you before, I have had three holes in one. Isn't that something? I had two at the old golf course in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. And then I had one at Sewell's Point Golf Course. Three of them. I consider myself very fortunate to have experienced that. Anyway, this chit chat, as all my chit chats are off the cuff, unscripted, and I'm just going to speak what's on my mind. One thing that I have been concerned about is how so many people are a little reluctant to speak their minds and I'm really concerned about that and the reason for that is because I firmly believe and if you follow what I say on my Facebook page or YouTube and I usually express myself through microdactism then you know that I believe that every single person should think for themselves. Now here's my concern. I think an awful lot of people are afraid to express themselves because they then subject themselves to ridicule. Hmm. I subject myself to ridicule each and every single time I have one of these little chit chats off the cuff unscripted expression. I do. So, I always try to explain to people that what you want to do is to not watch or listen to what I have to say if you have something better to do because really, chances are you're not going to learn anything else. But let's get back to this thing about the fear of ridicule. I think there are two things that we can do for ourselves. One is to overcome the fear of ridicule. People are going to ridicule what you say and what you do, no matter who you are. Bill Gates, with all his money, is trying to eradicate a lot of illness in the world. And yet, every single day, you read that Bill Gates is being ridiculed for what he's trying to do. There you have it. Every single person, no matter who you are, the minute you try to express yourself, you're subject to ridicule. Okay, the other thing that you have to do, personal opinion, is you've got to really suppress your ego. I think a lot of people stay quiet. I think a lot of people have a lot of good things to say. A lot of people, I think, are simply afraid that their ego will be abused and, and um, their ego will be challenged so they say nothing. Well, this is my opinion. No matter what you do, people are going to say things that's going to bruise your ego. What you have to do is to suppress your ego. In other words, do what you do, say what you say, not for applause, not for compliments, but because you want to say what you say what you want to say and do what you want to do. So, the two things you've got to know. You're going to be ridiculed, so accept it. And people are going to bruise your ego, so accept that. I'll give you two examples of what I'm talking about. Let's say that I say, and remember, all I can ever do, no matter what stage I am in life, is to... Say what I have to say based upon my knowledge, my experience, my intuition, 
and how I'm inspired or what inspires me to say what I have to say. So, having said that, what if I propose the theory that there are beings, human beings, or beings, let's put it that way, that live inside the earth? Hmm? Have you thought about that? Have you thought about the UFOs that people are seeing? They're not from planets way out there, but they're from beings that live inside the earth, right? And you say to yourself, well, that's ridiculous. Nobody can live inside the earth, really? What about Admiral Byrd of the United States Navy, who actually believe that people live inside the earth? Hmm? Okay, another theory, another theory. What about human beings? Here you have people that have been on earth for some 200, 300,000 years, let's say. These beings, Homo sapiens, they evolved through time. They're biological creatures that evolved through time. And then, mysteriously, hmm, what is it, 15,000 years ago maybe, these biological beings seem to have self-awareness. What happened to change these biological beings into human beings? One theory, one theory holds that aliens came from out of space, they intermarried or they interbreed with the biological beings that are not aware of themselves, they can't think, they can't function, they are simply beings that operate on instinct. They're hungry, they kill something, they eat it. In other words, they're not homo sapiens, they're not thinking beings. So these other beings from out of space came down and they actually injected their intellect, their sense of worth, their sense of self-awareness into these other biological beings that evolved on earth and then you had human beings. But something mysterious happened 15 years ago. Well, that's the other theory. One theory is that people lived inside the earth. The other is that human beings became human beings because of the interference of aliens from out of space. Hmm? Okay, so I proposed these two theories for a reason. If you're going to counter what I said, if you're going to say to yourself, well, these theories are really nonsense, then prove it. Prove that I am wrong by offering facts and truth. Prove me wrong. See what I'm saying? I know. I just added another little affirmation in there, huh? Did you like that? But here's my point. My point is that every single person on earth have something important to say based upon where you are in your growth intellectually and of course spiritually and I think if you never say it we will never know what you have to say so go ahead and say it subject yourself to ridicule suppress your ego and say what you have to say that's my little chit chat for today <laughs>